So Palmer, you know, you have been all over the internet recently. People are obsessed with Oculus and what it's becoming. You know, tell me what's new. People have started, I mean, you pushed out the dev kits, people have done the Kickstarter, got a ton of, uh, I guess, hype. So, so tell me, what are you guys doing next? So we've started shipping out developer kits. We've shipped out about 10,000 of them now. There's a lot of developers that have these. They're starting to make games. What we're showing at E3 is a prototype of a high resolution version of the Oculus Rift. It uses a single 1920 by 1080 display. And uh, it, other than that, it's basically the same. We have a lot of different prototypes back at the office with all kinds of different features. But since resolution is the biggest complaint that we hear about the Rift, we thought we would bring this one, show it at E3 so that people could see that we're making really good progress. So here's your chance to chat with people and, and tell them, you know, kind of quell some of these fears they might have, such as the resolution. What other things are you guys working on to kind of, uh, I guess, listen to the community and, and push out stuff that they want fixed? One of the things that people complain about is something they call the screen door effect. It's not just the low resolution, it's the fact that you can actually see the lines in between the pixels. And so one of the things we're working on doing is eliminating the screen door effect. Higher resolution does help there, but there's a lot of novel optical technologies you can do that completely make it invisible. Um, we're also working on positional tracking. So right now we have the ability to measure how, where you're looking in space. We can also do a little bit of head modeling based on we know, we can, we know exactly how the human neck tends to move. What we want to do is actually get uh, position tracking so that we can actually track translation through a large space. So not just where you're looking, but also where you are. Those are the two biggest things that we're working on at the moment. Awesome. So you're involved with Reddit. You love the Reddit community. Is there anything you want to say to those fans that you have out there from Reddit who, who really like to support you guys? I read everything. <laughs> Okay, so they know. They know the things that you guys are saying about them. We do, pay, we do pay attention to that. It's kind of interesting because we're developing this, and we know a lot about the hardware side. We're hiring really great people to put this together, but we're not necessarily game developers. We don't know what makes you know the best VR games. That's why we're putting these dev kits out there so that people can mess around with them. So when people are talking about the things they're doing, posting about them, giving feedback, we're actually paying really serious attention to that. And when you know, saying, how can we enable experiences like that or make them better, and how can we get that into hardware that we're shipping? Fantastic. Anything else you want to add? Karma doesn't matter. <laughs> it's like it's the point. They don't matter. Thank you so much. Really appreciate your time. Thank you for coming.